Good morning, this is Dr. McDaniel at GYN Corner. I'm a board certified obstetrician gynecologist in New York City, and I'm bringing to you all things health related for women. Thank you for joining me at GYN Corner today. I'm at the horse farm again. I'm gonna switch hands here with my phone. And let's see, it's a crisp, cool day. It's not, it's, uh, is it fall? I'm going crazy. Yes, it's a crisp, cool fall day. Uh, 43 degrees this morning, so a little bit chilly. It doesn't feel super cold, but it just feels a little cool. And let's see, I've, uh, I've been told that the presentations can be a little on the long side, so I guess I'm loquacious. So I'm going to try to go back to my old goal of keeping these as short as possible. Um, I'm going to try to watch the time and keep this down to about six minutes or so. So it may or may not be a part one or two, depending on how efficient I can be this morning. So let's see. Um, today, I thought I would speak on a topic that's come up about three times this past month. And the question has been, uh, can I get tested for STDs today because my husband, fiance, significant other, boyfriend, blah, 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 was told that he has genital warts or that he might have genital warts. They're going to biopsy it. Uh, is what one lady said that the dermatologist biopsied it, which is quite unusual because I found over the years, the dermatologists, when it comes to the male genitalia, they really do not like to do any kind of biopsies. Whereas in GYN, we have an old saying, when in doubt, cut it out. So we biopsy quite liberally to get an answer. And I found over the years that the dermatologists do not. So I was quite surprised when the one lady said that her uh, husband had had a biopsy of what appeared to be a genital wart. It was probably on a thigh or something. I, I didn't actually ask her where it was located. She just said he was told it might be a genital wart. He had a biopsy. So big deal uh, with STD screening is that we do not have STD screening for genital warts. Uh, there isn't a culture that we do or a blood test that we can do. So genital warts are condylomata condylomata acuminatum or condyloma acuminata are um, shat predominantly uh, gross. They're gross of the genital area, what we used to call the saddle area. And that means, apropos today, wherever your body would touch the saddle of a horse is the saddle area or the perineum. And the growths can have a a variety of presentations. They can be kind of shaggy. They can be flesh colored. Sorry, I have allergies and it's chilly. I'm going to have to sneeze. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, brother, sorry. They can be shaggy. They can be smooth and round. They can be very pointy, almost like little um, mountain ridges. They can be almost flat like someone saw a ball of putty and then squashed on it with their foot. Uh, and they can be flesh colored. They can be pale gray, almost kind of like what I describe as elephant skin, pale gray, thick. They can have a rough kind of texture or smooth texture and they can be really, really dark. So if you have um, Caucasian, pink, or ivory, or pale skin, they can be very brown or almost black. And the same if you have dark brown or almost black skin, they can sometimes be super pale, gray, ivory, or they can be really, really black. Now, if they're flesh colored, they're less likely to be of concern than if they're not flesh, than if they're really dark. If they're flesh colored, or pale, then um, they're less concerning than if they're really dark, much darker than your skin. That usually uh, is a, um, a foreboding of ill will, so to speak. They don't use, it doesn't usually mean that it's a benign, run of the mill, common genital wart if it's a really dark color. And additionally, if they're really flat, 
that's also quite unusual for genital warts because genital warts are usually uh, growths that kind of grow outwards. They kind of they don't spread like a pancake. They pooch out. So sometimes they'll be small little balls where they're rough, or they'll be very spiky or pointy. But the occasional situation where they are flat and just extending that's not a very common growth pattern and is always a bit concerning so condylomata or genital warts are always uh, due to an infection and that infection is human papilloma virus so I'm watching my time I see that I'm at six minutes uh, now so I'm going to stop right there with the discussion on condyloma acuminatum and then I'll catch catch you later at the next presentation and I'll go into a bit more information on genital warts thanks for joining me click the like subscribe and follow buttons if you enjoy the content please leave a message if you have a question or you have a, a topic that you'd like to hear about and uh, check out the YouTube channel uh, that's also GYN Corner and our podcast we're at GYN Corner and we're on all of the platforms so Apple Google Spotify uh, everywhere you can catch a podcast, you'll find us if you look for GYN Corner. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.